Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. If you don't know, my name's Snaithy182, and in this video I'm going to be showing you of how to, of the basics of movability or skiing basically in Tribes Ascend. So let's get into it. I'm going to go over four main topics uh, within this guide. The first being uh, the simple control settings or key bindings. Uh, so you can go from no go to go, go. That in skiing, yay! That was really bad. But let's carry on anyway. Uh, the basics of skiing itself. So basically, what not to do and what to do. Um, how to use the jetpack to its optimal potential. Because I can see a lot of people who think they know how to use a jetpack, and really they're just completely screwing it up. And you know they're just waiting for my help to come along. And finally, how to rocket jump or how to spin fuse a jump uh, within Tribe to Send, and also how to grenade boost. Um, now, just a quick one: the classes I will be using is simply the Pathfinder because I think it's the easiest. I will be using the Stock Pathfinder, so let's just change that so it's Stock, I think. Ooh. So then you know people who just started the game. Struggling to ski, there you go, that's completely stock now. Well, obviously, apart from how much I've upgraded everything, but you can't know, I can't really do anything about that. But that won't really make any difference. Okay, so let's get into it. So, the first of all, we will be looking at controls and settings. So, to do this, go onto settings in the main menu or in game, go to key bindings, and then go up to movement because this is a movement guide. Now, um, when you first start, you'll see these settings, and there's one down here, but we'll come to that later. Actually, let's we'll just keep it out here. And I believe, I'm not sure, I haven't been on this, well, for a while, actually. But here, it should be... Yeah, I think this and this are automatically selected, these two here. And this is... And that space bar, and to ski it's space bar, and to jump it's right click. Now, personally, me, because I played a lot of Tribes Ascend, and... Tribe Ascent, because I played a lot of Team Fortress 2, I'm always getting those mixed up for some reason. It's because it starts with a T. Come on, Josh, you can do better than that. Uh, and Battlefield, I'm used to using Spacebar as the jump button. So I use, so I just changed that to Spacebar. And instead of, and I changed this completely to Toggle Ski. Now basically what that'll do is I won't, is I don't have to hold down the ski button while I'm skiing. So it's one less thing to look out for basically. So simply when I'm skiing, right click. When I don't want to ski, right click again. It's your choice of which two you would want these two, but I highly recommend space bar for jump and for toggle ski something like, I don't know, uh, left control or you know, something like that, or shift or alt, I don't know. Just something easy to get to because you'll be using it a lot. For me, it's right mouse button because I find it the easiest. Okay, so after we've gone through that very simple thing, let's actually go to in-game. In this, I will only be um, going on by myself because this is a simple guide. Uh, crossfire. So this will be a very simple guide of just the basics of skiing. And I don't really want people messing around my guide, basically getting in the way. Uh, just a quick thing, since you, some of you who are watching from the channel, you may be used to other things such as Halo cinematics and guides. Well, I'm trying to bring a bit more diversity into it. So, you know, uh, I'm trying to bring in Tribes Ascend because it's a game which I've had since uh, nearly the start of beta and I've really enjoyed it. So, let's get it out. Spin Fuser stock, that's right. Okay, so, in Tribes Ascend, there are two means of movement. Well, actually, there's four. There's the vehicles. Well, there's the three. There's the vehicles uh, running around like this, uh, which, although looks all good and like, oh my god, I'm going as fast as normal games. No, you're not. I mean, like, never, never run anywhere, basically, because you'll get picked off straight away by sentinels, by chain guns, by LMGs by basically anything in the game and also you know if you're going for a flag cap as a pathfinder uh, don't llama cap it don't go uh, okay because you're not gonna get obviously that's my own flag so I can't do that the only reason you would do this is you're either defending as a jug or a doom bringer with your chain gun standing on the flag just 
waiting for Pathfinders to squash them. Or you're a technician just setting out a defense in the generator room. Or, you know, you're a sentinel or something like that. But anything else I wouldn't recommend, you know, walking at all. What you would really want to do is press your handy little ski button. There we go. I, I kind of messed that up completely. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, so for this, uh, there are two tips on the left and right. Go and go away, tip. I don't like you. Oops. Wrong. Okay. So, on the left and right, you can see these two bars. Now, um, at the moment, I'm not moving. When you're standing still and skiing, you're locked in place and you cannot move. Uh, what skiing is, it's momentum. So, let's say you run and then you press the ski button, I'm going fast. Well, actually, I'm going very slow. But that's how skiing is. It uses up momentum. That's why the maps are so hilly, because it wants you to master gaining momentum. Okay? So, let's say I'll just go down here. Boop. Um, okay, so to gain momentum, uh, you do a main thing. You find a downward slope. This is one what goes down. Okay? So, here, this is a downward slope. I know this might be quite hard for some of you to understand, but, you know, bear with me. This is very complex. Now, what you would want to do, okay, to get the maximum amount of speed, this is just running, by the way, I'll get to jetpacking and some of the stuff later, is run towards it and right-click. And look at the speed. 80 already. That's not fast at all. But, I mean, just from that little hill, that's all right. Things to avoid, going uphill. Because you will stop. And then you will go down another way. And then you will stop. And then you will go down another way. I'm not controlling it, my fingers just on W here. So all I'm doing is looking around. So let's stop that. So that is the basics of skiing. You go you to gain speed you go down hills and to lose speed you go up hills. Or, you know, to lose speed you could just right click and then you've stopped. Okay. So uh, let's get into the more other things. The next thing you will need to master to be in Travis Ascend is the jetpack. This is the thing on your back. This is the thing what emits blue flames. Yes, that is the jetpack. It is a very nifty thing. Every class has one. Every class can't live without one. And it's it's pretty awesome. So, first of all, the jetpack. To gain even more speed than just running down and doing this, you will you you will use the jetpack as well as going forwards and as well as pressing the ski button. So what I mean is go up in the air, gain momentum on your downward force, press W and off you go. There you go. So what we just gained an extra 14 kilometers per hour, I think, from doing that. Let's do that again. Whoop! There we go. So it's a lot faster. Uh, if you're wondering, the jetpack. Uh, if you're like very new to this game, the jetpack doesn't last forever. As you can see on the bottom left, your pool, your energy pool runs out. So if you can see in the bottom left, boop, there it is. So it regains after a while. I'm using the Pathfinder because he is the, well, because he has, I don't think it's the most, it, I think it regains the most energy quickest, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. But yeah. So, to use the jetpack, efficiently, I mean, is that you won't want to use it all. You don't want to go up as high as you can and think, I'm going to go amazingly fast. Let's do this. Let's. I did that completely wrong. There we go. Off we go. You do take fall damage in this game, so don't just, like, drop onto a smooth surface and be like, oh my god, I'm going extremely fast, which I'm not at the moment. Let's try that again. Okay, so, <laughs> you're going up, you're going up. You think you're going to go extremely fast. Press W. You go. Boom! There you go. 115. That's not really a lot. When you get to a hill, use your jetpack to go over it. Don't just ignore it. Okay, so jetpack over the hills. That means that you will not lose the speed at all, I don't think. No, you will not lose the speed. The only way you will lose speed uh, using your jetpack is if you go forwards and then on your downward descent, you go you like as you can see the momentum is increasing and you go down so then it'll like stop it slightly so yeah don't do that unless okay the only reason when to use up your full energy pool uh, as any class at all is when you're going on big slopes like this like you know you know what you're doing there's nobody around and oh my god that's pathetic and you're just like okay I'm gonna wait for this to regen 
and then you're thinking, I'm going to go down this hill, I'm going to get to 200 odd, I'm going to blast off that little ramp there and go, go, go. That's the only reason you would want to use up all your energy, because it gains you quite a bit of speed. I'm, I'm not saying like a load, because some of these pro players and whatever, and people who are like amazing pathfinders, they can get to these kind of speeds very quickly, or like they can hit 300. I can't hit that kind of speed. Uh, I'm more of a defensive midfield clap, midfield guy myself, uh, because pathfinding does get a bit annoying for me when everyone llama caps it, which is when you run over, as I said before. Uh, so yeah, so what you will want to do most of the time uh, in this game is when you get to a hill, just use up, you know, a third, a half maybe, and go down. Because that will still gain you quite a bit of speed, as I'm not doing here. There we go. There, so I'm gaining up, not a ton, but I'm gaining a bit of speed, okay? That's that's enough to get me from one side of the map to the other in 10 seconds, maybe? 10, 15 seconds? So yeah, so when you master this, it will become a lot more easier. So always, in Travis Ascend, always look for these nice big hills, okay? Always look for them. Then go down, there we go. Then you can get a lot of speed, and go through, I don't know, maybe fail at jumping that ledge because you didn't use your jetpack enough or anything like that. So that's that's what you need to do. Don't use up your jetpack completely. Oh my god. Failing Don't use up don't use up all of your uh energy pool straight away. Or especially especially when you're in a fight. I see this a lot. People think, okay, I'm in a fight. Oh my god, let's just go around in the air because people can't blue plate special me, which is where you shoot and then it hit somebody and then they explode or like you know then it hits them directly instead of taking splash damage uh, because then you'll be floating in the air and you'll be like okay what do I do now oh I'm falling I'm falling let's do it again I've got a bit more let's do a bit more okay uh, now what bang you'll get hit smacked and you're down what you want to do is start going from side to side get a bit of skiing done maybe pop off a few shots try and get to a, a hill like, remember, in this game, this is not Call of Duty. It's not the first person who sees someone wins. It's not that kind of game. The game is skill. It's skill-based and maybe slightly luck-based and based spaced. No, not spaced. What am I on about? Luck-based and also, you know, depending on the class. Like, a pa as a Pathfinder, a light class, as you can see, he only has 800 hit points. Don't go up against a heavy or a brew or any heavy class because they have 2,000 and they will rip you to shreds if they are good. Okay, like they can just be standing there, just blowing the crap out of you, and you won't have a leg to stand on. You would literally just die straight away. So yeah, that's my quick tip. Not in not being involved in this guide at all. Uh, so yeah, so let's get to the final thing. Uh, so I hope that you will like you know, got used to it, like just go up, ski down, and there. Now, I'm sure that you're wondering, oh, well, I want to go faster than that. Like, you know, what happens when I'm on these flat, these flat planes? How do I go faster? Well, anom anomalous viewer, who I'm going to call Jim, what you would want to do as a Pathfinder is you have a nitrate boost, as I will show you here. The, ooh, man, that's went weird then. The nitrate boost is, where is it? There, bell item. Uh, impact Nitron, that Nitrate boost. Impact Nitron, get this, don't use the Explosive Nitron, don't even bother to get it. As a Pathfinder, you are capping the flag and chasing the carrier. This is why this is so good, because when you throw it, on impact with the flag carrier, the person will drop the flag on the floor so you can get it. The downside to this is, in a recent patch, if you do this, you will also drop your flag if you hit yourself. So you can only use this grenade boost, if you want to call it that, when you don't have the flag. Like getting to an objective, gaining a lot of speed, okay? Uh, so yeah, this is amazing. Get it, upgrade it. I upgraded it completely. I have three now, is it? I think I might actually have four usually because I have an extra gun because I use the extra grenade perk. <sighs> sorry about that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry guys. Okay, so um... So, to grenade boost with these, uh, what you would want to do is going down uh, a hill when you're on this, turn behind you, look about 45 degrees, 
then throw it. Then it'll gain you a bit of speed. Obviously, I don't know how much that gave me. That gave me about 30 or 40. That wasn't too much, but if I was going... Well, actually, it's, it's, it's a bit like... You can't really tell it's a lot when you're only going at 60 or so. But let's say let's just completely waste my energy here. But let's say I'm going down here. I'm going to ski. And I'm going to go... Wow! Oh my god! That's loads. There you go. 200. Quick. That's... Woo! Flying. Flying, flying. Let's do this again. I completely missed that one. <laughs> Fail. So as you can see, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to it as well. It does... Just play around with it a bit. Oh, there's a turret. To avoid those, just... Just, uh... Just... Um... What is it? Just stop using your jetpack for half a second, and then it'll stop it working. Do you know what I mean? Like, it'll miss you, basically. Because how they work is that it follows your obvious path. So if you're traveling in a straight line, they will shoot you down, and then they'll basically hit you bang on. See? But what I'm doing there is I'm just letting go of the spacebar, or the ski button, sorry, not ski, or the jetpack button, and it'll miss me. It'll go just behind or just in front of you. Because it follows a predictable path of where you're going. So obviously if you slow down or stop the jetpack, then it won't be in the predictable line of sight. Okay, so you've learned how to nitrate boost and um, grenade boost and how to ski in jetpack. I should have really shown you how to uh, spin fuse or rocket jump in this game. So to do that, it's basically very, very, very similar to the nitrate boost. What you do is you go up and then you look behind you and then turn around. I think a good one for doing this is near your feet or just above, then fire. And then you'll get a boost. So then, you know, you can do that all day long. Um, it, you do take quite a bit of damage if you do it wrong. Like that. So, if you get it, there's a right angle. There is a correct angle in doing it. I, I did kind of do that purposely wrong. Ish. I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a bit out of practice. I haven't been playing. This. Well, I've been playing it, but I mean, I haven't been playing Pathfinder, <laughs> so I'm slightly out of practice doing that. So let's try that again. So yeah, you just simply look at your feet, and then behind you, then shoot. Obviously, not while you're standing still, and obviously you need to be skiing. So let's do this. Okay, so skiing. Look behind you. About here. Fire. There we go. Then you go fast. Then nitrate boost. Boom. And then. There we go. You're skiing pretty fast. So, um, yeah, I hope this guide's helped. Uh, I'm going to quickly attempt to do a rocket jump better so it's not awful and I don't look like an absolute noob about rocket jumping because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm not. There we go. That's what it's like. Woo. Okay. There we go. So, yeah. Barely a hill there. I'm gonna die. Oh, Jesus Christ, I missed. So, yeah, barely a hill. Oh, God. Looking at my nice scenery. Whoa. Don't do that in game. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed my two suicides. I hope this video has helped you. Remember, don't go slow. That's, that's an awful saying, but that's what it'll be. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you think it's been useful, please rate, comment, and subscribe.